Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have kind of a fun video. This is a semi blind buy perfume haul. So I do have a few here and I'm going to share with you which ones were hits, which ones were misses. And I'm also doing a giveaway. So I am going to be giving somebody a full unopened bottle of the Kaeli Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. So this is one of my favorite perfumes right now you guys. This is one of my favorite new releases of 2021. It is such a beautiful perfume and I'm sure you guys have heard lots about it. So in order to enter to win you do have to be following me on Instagram. So head on over there and follow me if you haven't already. Find my post about the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper giveaway. Make sure that you like the photo and comment underneath the photo your favorite Kaeli fragrance or if you don't have a favorite Kaeli fragrance comment down below which one you are most excited to try or bring into your collection and you will automatically be entered to win. So with that out of the way, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Alithia and on this channel we talk mostly about perfume. So if that is your thing, make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's jump in. Okay guys, so before we get into my newest perfumes that I have hauled, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the Kaeli body, or the Kaeli, my goodness. I have Kaeli on the brain. I wanted to give you an update on the Kim Kardashian Body 2 fragrance because I did purchase this a few months ago when I did a whole bunch of KKW perfume hauls and I wanted to kind of let you know where my thoughts are and where this perfume is now in my collection. So this bottle I have pretty much kept just as decor and if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you probably know that I have this sitting on the shelf in my bedroom. I have a really big, beautiful shelf that I like to display handbags and perfumes and candles and flowers, and that's where this perfume bottle has been sitting. So this is the bottle. Of course, it is supposed to be a silhouette of Kim Kardashian. Um, I just really, really like the bottle design. Um, to be honest, I'm not a fan of the Kardashians by a long shot really, but I really do like the design of this bottle. I like that it's kind of like a little sculpture. I really like that if you get up close, you can see it is um, like a stone kind of feel to it. So it is a really cool looking and feeling bottle and I think it does make really, really nice decor, especially because it is that beige color, which perfectly fits my aesthetic. However, I do want to share the scent profile with you guys one more time because I think there's a lot of people out there who would actually really like it. It's that time of year people are looking for those kind of coconutty, beachy, tropical smelling perfumes and people are looking for something that has a good longevity. This perfume, you guys, I have to say, has a really, really good longevity and good performance. I have worn this before just to kind of see, like I don't personally love the way it smells, but I have worn it just to kind of see what I would think of it. I really still don't like the way it smells all that much. It doesn't smell bad, but I have a hard time finding TR flower, coconut, fragrances that work well for me and this one is just not my cup of tea really um, but I think a lot of people would really like it and it does have amazing lasting power so the top notes that you have in here are coconut nectar neroli mandarin orange and bergamot in the mid you have minoy oil ylang ylang orange blossom and jasmine and in the base you have coconut milk musk and ambrette and basically what this smells like to me is a very musky tropical smelling coconut scent. So it's probably not the best description, but it is a creamy, it's it's a very creamy, musky, tropical smelling coconut scent. It's kind of along the same lines as Soleil Blanc. It doesn't smell like Soleil Blanc, but it's kind of along those lines. So if you like that kind of fragrance profile, there's a good chance you might really like this. This does have really good lasting power. As I said, the bottle is amazing. So I did want to share it with you guys, just in case there's somebody out there who's still kind of looking for a good summer scent. If you like the profile, this is actually a good one. So this is the KKW Body 2. Okay, so the next one I wanna to talk to you guys about is from Aqua di Parma, and this is Fico di Amalfi. So this is probably one of the more popular ones from Aqua di Parma. Um, this gets really good ratings. A lot of people love this perfume. I see people mention it in their summer freshy favorite videos all the time. And this was a semi-blind buy. And what I mean by that is I had bought a travel size a while back, but I didn't really give it much of a chance I think I just kind of quickly smelt it and dismissed it because I wasn't really in love but I remember that it smelt just very fresh and very clean and if you guys follow me on Instagram you know that I have been talking a lot lately about being on the hunt for like a super refreshing um, thirst quenching kind of a fragrance for the summertime. I have a lot of nice citrus scents. Like I don't know why I feel the need to look for another citrus, but I think it's just because we've had so much hot weather lately and I love my citrus scents, but I just, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I need to find another citrus. So anyway, 
This one I did purchase, so a little bit blind, not really, and I was pretty sure that I was gonna really like it, and to be honest, you guys, I'm not a huge, huge fan of this one. So the notes that you have in this one in the opening are grapefruit, bergamot, citron, and lemon. In the mid, you have fig nectar, jasmine, and pink pepper, and in the base, you have fig tree, cedar, and benzoin. And this is a unisex scent that personally, I think is perfectly unisex. I don't think it really leans one way or the other. If I had to choose between the two, I would say probably masculine, but it's pretty balanced. And this is basically just really nice and fresh. The opening is very refreshing and citrusy and beautiful, and I actually really like it. And I think what kind of bothers me about this one or where it goes south for me is probably the fig nectar. So I like fig. I like fig in certain perfumes, but the fig is actually dominant in here, it's, it, or not dominant, it's fairly prominent, um, and it is a fresh fig. It's not a deep, heavy fig, but it's still there, and there's something about it that I just don't enjoy, so that's totally a personal preference. I know a lot of people love this perfume. I do have to say I love the bottle. This looks like, you guys, when I look at this bottle, it makes me feel like jumping in a swimming pool. It just looks so refreshing. Everything about this just, to me, screams summertime and fresh and invigorating. And if you look at the ad for this perfume, it's like this really beautiful woman and her super hot boyfriend, and they're on the Amalfi Coast, and they're you know cutting lemons, and they're doing all these like refreshing things. Everything about this perfume makes me want it, but I just don't enjoy how it smells on my skin. I'm gonna take the lid off here and just refresh again. You guys, I love the bottle. I love the bottle, I'm obsessed with it. If you can recommend me a fresh Aqua di Parma fragrance that is a little more feminine and doesn't have a lot of fig in it, or any fig, let me know please. I should really just get the um, sampler set and try it out. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, you guys. I know this is a nice scent. Like, theoretically, this is a beautiful, fresh, really nicely done scent. Actually, Lasting Power is about moderate. It's not big. It's not terribly weak. I find you do have to spray heavy. And the other thing I will tell you about this, too, is that I hate the atomizer. I hate it. The atomizer is not very good at all. I will try to spray it for you guys. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Basically, when you spray it, it sprays a thick heavy stream it's not like a nice mist which I would like for a summer fragrance I want something that feels very refreshing and I can kind of mist it all over myself and this is a very like um, a very thick heavy dense stream that kind of comes out all in one glob as opposed to being like a nice fine mist so I really don't like the atomizer of this so yeah this is I don't know you guys, I, I feel like such a crazy person because I feel like I should like this, but I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm, I've told you guys I have a hard time with citruses. Very, very few citrus fragrances work for me. That's just like typical for me, I guess. So anyway, I want so badly to love this. I want so badly to invite this beautiful invigorating blue bottle into my collection, but it's just not gonna happen. So I can appreciate it from afar. If anybody's interested in this fragrance, please hit me up. I will sell it to you for a really good price. So this is Aqua Deep. Parma Fico di Amalfi. Beautiful fragrance, but it's just not for me. And our second last fragrance today is from Guerlain, and this is from their Aqua Allegoria line, and this is Para Granita. So this was not a blind buy. However, it's been a very, very long time since I've smelled this. I had a little sample sent to me from some company, I'm not sure which it was, and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, that's so refreshing. It's so sweet. It's so grapefruity. It's so beautiful. And I remember thinking it would be an amazing summer fragrance. And you guys, I don't know why, but I'm just looking for thirst quenching fragrances. Again, we've just had such hot weather and I'm just looking for that fragrance that I can just mist all over myself and make me feel like I just doused myself in a big bottle of lemonade. That's kind of what I want right now. I just want something fresh and juicy and uplifting and invigorating and something that doesn't have a lot of heaviness to it. You know, something very refreshing, but I want good lasting power. Those are hard things to find actually. So before I get into what I think about this one, let me tell you what the notes are. So in the opening, you have a whole bunch of grapefruit. You have lemon, you have bergamot. In the middle, you have a pretty good dose of pear. There's some orange blossom. There's osmanthus. There's hedione. And in the base, you have white musk, cedar, and moss. The opening of this, you guys, is beautiful. I 
absolutely love the way this perfume smells. This is exactly what I was hoping it would be. This is refreshing, this is juicy, this is fresh, this is citrus. It's light, it's very, very feminine. It's a stark contrast to the Aqua di Parma, to the Fico di Amalfi, because this one is definitely on the feminine side 100%, which is what I really like these days. The issue with this perfume, you guys, is you pretty much blink and it's gone. Like, I put it on my skin and literally, 20 minutes, half an hour later, I have to press my nose into my skin to pick up any trace of this perfume. And I have read that I'm not the only person who feels that way. So I'm kind of upset with myself for spending the money on this perfume because I kind of knew that the performance was going to be terrible based on everything I've read. Um, the bottle is exquisite. I love Guerlain. I'm a huge fan of Guerlain. I love their bottles. It has like that honeycomb um, top on it. And it also has the little bee on the top, on the lid. I love the label, I love the shape of the bottle, it's beautiful. This is a 75 ml bottle, by the way. It is an eau de toilette, so these citrusy, light, fizzy, effervescent, bright eau de toilettes are not made to last, they're not designed to last. But then my question is, what do you use it for? Like. I feel like this would be a great one literally if you had just finished running a marathon and you just needed to like take a big drink of water and refresh yourself you could spray this on yourself but it would be gone in about 10 minutes and so it is very refreshing and it's very light and bubbly and effervescent and happy and i love it but honestly you guys it's probably the worst the worst performing citrusy scent i've ever smelled like it's it's just gone, you know, blink and it's gone. So I'm actually gonna take the lid off here because I wanna smell it again. It's so pretty because it's not just about those citruses and those fruits. There is a little bit of a floral component in here. There is that um, orange blossom. There's that orange blossom and it's the pear is very prominent. And it's just a beautiful scent. And you guys, the atomizer on this is amazing. This is an example of a good atomizer. Let me show you. Okay, that is a nice atomizer as compared to the Fico di Amalfi, which pretty much you're just dumping a bucket of fragrance on yourself. Um, and you guys, and I can smell this right now. It's beautiful, it smells so good. This one I might hold on to and just keep it like in my gym bag or something, or I don't know, It's it smells so good. It's just, I really wish it would last longer. On clothing, it does last a little while. However, what you get on clothing with this one is the dry down, which is a little bit more of that kind of musky, warmer side. It doesn't retain the citrus component. I really would love a fragrance that would retain that fresh citrus component all throughout its life. I, yeah, I really, really like this one. It's just you guys, like, honestly, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't really hold a candle to, like, My Kali Citrus by Rado Sundays, Chanel Chanso Fresh. Like, I much prefer those fragrances over this one in terms of the performance, and I also think I like the way they smell better. So, anyway, um, that's my thoughts about the Peregrinita, essentially. Please let me know a Aqua Allegoria that has okay lasting power. It doesn't have to be a beast, but I want something citrusy, fresh, effervescent, bubbly, nothing too green, nothing too unisex, something that's going to last at least, you know, three or four hours. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with like three hours longevity. So that is Peregrinita. Okay, you guys, and the last one on my list today is Gucci Guilty, the original. So as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I have been really liking the scent profile of the Gucci Guilty perfumes. However, I had tried the Gucci Guilty Intense and I found that it was a little bit too peppery for me or rather my boyfriend felt that it was a little too spicy. So I didn't really want to keep it for like date nights because he didn't really enjoy it. Um, I also had the Gucci Guilty Black, which to be honest was a little too light almost, which is bizarre considering the name, you'd expect it to be darker, but it was actually almost a little lighter. And I just really wanted Gucci Guilty in my collection. So many people have Gucci Guilty on their holy grail, top 10 for life. Um, and I know it's not a new perfume. This has been out for quite a long time. I'm definitely late to the Gucci Guilty bandwagon or the Gucci Guilty Party, I should say. But I really like this one, you guys. So first of all, I'll give you a little close-up of the bottle. It is very reflective, very, very reflective. I love the gold color, I love the style. I, I'm a big fan of like the Gucci branding in general. Who doesn't like the double G Gucci branding? I also really like um, the color of the juice. 
yeah, the bottle is just beautiful, you guys. It does hold fingerprints quite easily, so you do have to be careful if you are picky about your bottle staying clean. But the juice inside here, you guys, is really, really nice. So in the top, you have pink pepper, mandarin orange, and bergamot. In the mid, you have lilac, which I have learned I, I really enjoy in a fragrance, peach, geranium, jasmine, and black currant. And in the base, you have patchouli, amber, white musk, and vanilla. And what I mostly get from this perfume is probably that sort of fresh fresh, spicy, um, sort of lilac-y accord. I definitely get like a powdery, fresh, spicy lilac, and it's very, very pleasant. This is not what I would call overtly sexy. However, there is such a sex appeal to it. It is a very feminine, very musky, very floral. It has like what I would say is more of a traditional, um, a traditional sort of a vintage sexy to it if you know what i mean because it's got that powderiness it has the floral it's got the musk there is something very sensual about it i really really like it amazing lasting power as well you guys this is an eau de toilette and correct me if i'm wrong but i don't know if gucci guilty ever came in a perfume i don't know if it ever did come in a perfume because i cannot find one so let me know down below if you guys know that but you guys this perfume lasts for such a long time it comes through my clothing i can smell it on my clothes the next day one or two sprays is all i really need of this um, i would probably overspray if i was wearing it for a date just because i am team oversprayer so i do like to spray and i really really like the scent and i'm very very happy to have this even though right now you guys i am trying to whittle my collection down i am trying to be picky about what comes in and what goes out um currently i'm at about 40 perfumes which is amazing like that's the lowest i've had my collection in a really long time um and this is in that top 40 at the moment so um i really really like it i just feel like it's probably a little bit timeless i think it's classy i think you can wear this for all seasons and lots of different occasions i can't wait to try wearing this for a date night and just see how i feel in it and see how it goes over so this is very much a first impression but there's something about this scent profile that i just enjoy so so much and i really just wanted to find a gucci guilty for my collection and it turned out that the original gucci guilty was the one that's I like the most. Yeah, super happy to have this one in my collection. It's just beautiful. And that's my thoughts on Gucci Guilty. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these fragrances. Don't forget to head on over to Instagram and enter my Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper giveaway. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.